Hello kindergarten! Are you ready for your spring week 3 video? Before we begin, you need to make sure that you have pencil and paper, uh, color in some sort of coloring supplies and an eraser. Your learning targets for this week. I can identify the shapes in nature to help me draw. I can identify the details of a redwood tree and I can begin to draw a redwood tree. Last week, we were working on oak trees. You can see some good examples here from my friends, people who, who filled up the entire page. They have the acorn, they have the detail of the oak leaf in it. So there's a great job for these friends. This week, we're going to be drawing a redwood tree. These are called sequoia trees. They're huge. This is even bigger than that uh, the oak tree that I showed you last week. Now, we don't have a lot of them in Georgia. They're mostly out on the West Coast in California and places like that. We're going to be drawing today a redwood tree, the cone and the leaves from the redwood tree. Don't forget, we're going to give our tree a ground to stand on and the sky behind it. So this is a really good example of what we're going to practice or what we're going to look at as our inspiration. You can see the redwood tree, you can see the cone or the seed, and you can see a little bit of the leaves. So let's look at and see how that will look with our drawing. So this is the finished piece and let's look at how we can draw that. Like what we usually do, we're going to start with a shape, and that shape is going to be a long, tall rectangle this time. We're going to add the ground behind it, and we're going to add these little guys down here at the bottom. It's what word again? Starts with an R. It's the roots. So we're going to draw roots going down. And then we're going to erase those little corners. Just because we're looking for a shape doesn't mean we have to keep the shapes. So now we're going to start and we're going to look at the top. So this time for the top of our redwood tree, we're going to start at the top of the page and we're going to make a big triangle. We're not going to keep it like a big triangle. but. That's, I mean, we're not going to keep it with those straight lines. Then I'm going to erase the rectangle inside. And we're going to work on making the edges of our triangle look more like our picture here. We're going to do that by doing a zigzag line. It's kind of like you're drawing the letter M, but sideways. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to do zigzag lines going down, then a zigzag line going down on this side. And I'm going to add some zigzag lines on the inside to once again make it look like it's got some texture. I can draw some more. And we're going to draw one branch starting down here. So remember how we start branches? We start it with the letter U. And we're going to have that branch come up. And then I'm going to draw a small triangle and add zigzags to that triangle. And now we're at the bottom of both triangles. I'm going to make it a zigzag again. Now I need to go through and erase some of these lines. This picture, you don't see that really straight line right there. So I'm going to erase. And if I need to, I'll go back over and fix anything that I accidentally erased. I'll do the same thing up here. And you don't need these. I just drew that as my example. So we're going to look at the cone, which is the like a pine cone for the redwood tree. And it's going to be, it's actually more of an oval than a circle, kind of like the acorn. So we've got our oval started. We're going to once again put a little square up top. 
And this time we're going to make, this is going to be a very interesting pattern. Our pattern is going to be like a bunch of U's, but we're going to make sure that they're on, t that they're touching each other. So that U goes to there, goes to there, goes off there and there, and that one, and there, and there, and there, and there. And it's kind of got this little bit of a, a top, kind of like the acorn had a top. Uh, uh, and then boom, boom, boom. So there's our cone. And the leaves, the reason why we use those zigzag lines is that the leaves and the trees, they're so, they're really tiny. They're like pine straw. If you've been outside and you live in Georgia, you've probably seen pine straw before. So I'm going to draw my pine, well, mine up here. I'm going to draw one skinny line. I'm going to add one here. And another skinny line coming off and then I want to add kind of like it almost looks like spikes and I want to make sure it's on both sides And you want to make sure that you get both sides of your, if you ran out of space like I do, that's fine. Now, when we talk about coloring, oops, nope, my friend's getting ahead of myself. We need to write something down here. R, E, D, W, O, O, D, T, R, E, E. I'll bet you know tree by now. So we're going to work with coloring our redwood tree. I'm not going to color the whole thing with you right now because this is really pretty easy and I think you guys can get this by now. But let's talk about how we make a redwood tree look like a redwood tree. I'm going to start first by coloring with brown and then I'm going to add another color to it. Can you figure out what color? Some red. So if I just color my tree brown, it wouldn't be appropriate to the name because the name has what in the title? That's right, it's got red in the title. So I am going to color or a uh, brown first. But then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some red on top of that. I'm going to color red over it. And that's going to help make that reddish brown color. You can see the difference already. And then the rest of it's going to be green and you know how to do the blue sky. And you can add more things behind it. You don't have to just draw one tree. You can also have a whole bunch of other things with it too. But I wanted to show you the red brown to make red wood before you continue going on with coloring the rest of it. All right. So if you are watching this video and you haven't been in Zoom, you need to make sure that you post your picture on your Seesaw. If you're in Zoom or you come join me in Zoom, all you have to do in Zoom is show me your done picture. All right. See you later, kindergarten.